What is going on guys? Marcus here with the Reformation Woodshop. Laser Pecker has done it again. It feels like only a few months ago I was showing you the LP2, which is one of the coolest mobile lasers that you can find anywhere. Today, I'm going to be showing you the LP4. Because this video is going to be dense, I'm not going to show you how to put it together because it's a couple screws and a couple little places, and I think you're smart enough to figure that out yourself. But I did want to show you two new things that are different from the LP2 on the LP4, and that is the bed of your laser is now removable. That way, if you want to take your laser on site and set it on top of something, you can take this bed out and it'll engrave straight through while it's still mounted to the stand. The next cool thing that they added is a magnetic fan slash shield. I think that's a really cool addition and really, really useful. With the new laser comes new accessories, which I'm really excited for, so let's get into those guys. This is the stabilizing arm for the rotary attachment for the LP4. I've got another laser rotary attachment to compare this one to, and the quality of this one is way better. The rotary attachment has step jaws to hold on to any size item that you could possibly have, and it has a ring attachment so that you can engrave any ring you want. The last new attachment is the slide extension. It has a 160 by 300 millimeter working area. It is very similar to the third axis from the LP2, but it works a little bit more efficiently. One of the things that makes this laser so special is that it has two lasers inside of it. It is a fiber laser and a diode laser, and you can access either laser just by a swipe left or a swipe right. Focusing your laser has never been easier ever before. All you have to do is lower your laser head up or down, depending on how tall your piece is. You have two laser dots for focusing on your piece. As soon as they touch, you know you are exactly where you need to be. It is that simple. So let's engrave something. I really wanted to show you the new features of the app, but it is not available for me yet on iOS. As soon as it is available, in a future video, I'll show you all those cool things. Most of the time, if I'm doing lasering anyways, I'll pull up Photoshop. That way I can get a precise image on my laptop or Lightburn or whatever laser program that I choose to use. That way I know for a matter of fact, it's gonna be perfect. So select your file in the app, lower your laser and click engrave. I sped this up because it's a YouTube video and I know for a fact you don't want to see me laser engraving all day. But this was about 70 seconds of real time doing my logo on this coaster. I really like the fact that there's an integrated percentage time on your laser now so you know as soon as it's about to be done. You can also pause your laser. And then play it and it'll resume right where it left off. That's a pretty nice feature too. All right, so you've seen wood. Let's try metal. This is just an old card scraper. All you have to do up top is swipe over and see what happens. This is the draw to the LP4. This is what everybody wants. I don't know a whole lot about metal, so I went ahead and tried a bunch of different metals. I did this card scraper. Obviously, I put a Texas on it because I'm pretty patriotic. Yeehaw and such. And it turned out really good. It was a surface level burn. So I took it to another piece of metal. It was a knife. I realized that the knife had several different types of metals on it. The blade was a different type of metal than the handle was, and the handle was a different type of metal than the clip. So I went ahead and engraved everything. Each piece of metal took the engraving differently, and I'm going to continually engrave metal so that I can get my settings down perfectly and know exactly what settings are perfect for what specific type of metal. Let's check out all of these accessories. The rotary attachment is really well built. It can lock onto anything that you want to hold, and the jaw can rotate up and down if you need to hit an angle with your laser. I'm going to start real simple and make a cool little rolling pin for my daughter for when she plays with Play-Doh. All you have to do is attach your cylindrical piece of wood in the jaws, bring the stabilization arm up to it, don't forget your safety glasses when you're engraving, go in your app, set your width, your height, and when you're using your rotary attachment, you have to add the diameter of the piece that you're engraving. This is probably the most useful accessory because you can do cups and pins and all kinds of cylindrical items and make a profit off of those items. The next accessory is the slide extension. It has long form engraving, bigger, larger photos. The laser picker does 8K resolution. That means if you're using the slide extension and you have a nice, well done photo, you can engrave that photo and it'll look as if it was printed, yet it's engraved permanently onto whatever that object is that you engraved. This cartoon is obviously not an example of that. Because I knew I was gonna be making a video and I wanted to give the most accurate details possible, I posted in the Facebook group, Laser Pecker Users or Laser Pecker Official, there's two different groups. I posted in both of them that I had the laser and if anyone had any questions, to leave them in the comments and I would try my best to answer them. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. 
First question I got was how good is the wood cutting? It is eight times the cutting speed of the 1.6 watt module. It has an eight millimeter max cutting depth. And I spent some time cutting myself and I did a pretty good job. Obviously there's a little bit of burn, but as I learn and I adjust my settings, I'm sure that will clean up really quickly. On the topic of cutting, can you cut acrylic, silicone, leather, all the other items that you'd like to cut? I had a scrap piece of silicone and I ran it and yes, it can cut. It can cut most everything that you could possibly think of. Wood, bamboo, acrylic, leather, paper, cloth, felt cloth and corrugated paper. And what all materials can it engrave? It can engrave wood, bamboo, acrylic, leather, paper, cloth, felt cloth, corrugated paper, food, fruits, plastic, bones, aluminum alloy, dark glass, shale, tile, cement, metal, stainless steel, iron, bronze, ceramic, and transparent material as long as you coat it. <clears throat> Another question I had is can it engrave glass or Mirrors, yes, yes I can. I tried it, it worked, it was perfect, and I already listed that off in the last question. One of the weird questions I had that I would have never thought to try, can it clean a coin? I got a dirty old penny, something that had a bunch of corrosion on it or whatever. For the image I uploaded to engrave, I used a big black square, ran it across the penny, and it came out shiny and new. If this is what you're gonna be utilizing your laser for, you can get it down to a precise science. How is the smoke management? The smoke management is just like the Laser Pecker 2. It's got the onboard fan and it tosses smoke away from your piece, helping to make sure that there's no burn marks on whatever you're working with. But Laser Pecker does offer a vent pipe, which is very, very useful. I've been using it for a long time and it works perfectly. At what range can the full machine tilt to? Just like the LP2, this laser has 180 degree rotation engraving, meaning you can turn this thing up and put it on anything that is a stationary object that's not moving, like a tool. Last question in the most commercial sounding pitch that exists on the planet. Where can I get one of these bad boys? Well, I'm glad you asked. For the next 30 days, Laser Picker has a Kickstarter going. You can back the project and then you will get your machine. If you're watching this sometime in the future past those 30 days, I'm sure they're gonna be on Amazon. I will have that link in the description. I will also have the Kickstarter link in the description. Another question was, what the heck is the price? There are many packages you can choose from. You can get just the laser without any accessories right now for $1,300. If you want the Laser Pecker 4 with the slide extension, you can get it for $1,400 right now. If you want just the Laser Pecker with the rotary extension, you can get it for $1,500. And if you want everything right now, you can get a 30% discount through Kickstarter for $1,700. Thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comment section down below and I will answer as best as possible.